Well, at this current moment, LSR, uh, you have been sent out by your by your nation to investigate movements of certain tribes, either tribes or other nations. They had they had received ports of dark elves moving from the underdark to the surface world, and uh, and uh, along with that, a the wood elves moving apparently mustering their units, uh, their forces for something seemingly stirring within the forest. You have currently been sent into their forest for the investigation. Uh, you have actually accidentally met Celeste during your travels. From what she says, she, she informs you that she is a cleric of a apparently a good drow goddess, which is, from what your knowledge is, there is only one goddess for them, and that is an <laughs> evil demon lord known as Lolf. Lolf. Yep. So she's she's telling you she is she follows a good deity that wants to basically improve the image of of Drow everywhere. Now, whether or not your character believes that, that is up to you. What? Why would I lie? <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, you have currently been traveling with her for about I would say maybe about a week, and you're trying to investigate what's happening with the Wood Elves and. <laughs> and within the forest as you guys yeah, are walking water. through the forest you had to um base you had had to sneak around a bit because due to the high traffic of orcs within this forest mm -hmm. uh harry or uh harry what was your character's name sorry uh i, I had it and now i forgot it okay well <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll just call you 4G for now. <laughs> Alright, so 4G, you are currently within a temple. You have traveled through a, of a cave system, through a mountain. You see roots are, uh, within this decrepit ruin, you see there are roots coming through the ceiling. Through your uh, investigations of the area, you continue to try to gather arcane knowledge. As you are walking, you see there is a pedestal with a... You see an old arcane circle. As you walk up to the circle, the second you put your foot down on it, you see it start to glow, pulse with energy. You see light shoot up into the sky. You grab your... You grab your... I think you got your sword right now. Just uh, to defend yourself. Of course, you have to defend yourself. Just in case if anything comes out. You see it shoot through the, the ceiling. And uh, Celestine and Elazar. Elazar. You see the light shoot through the forest. Seeing this light, you. I assume you guys would walk like to walk towards it. Like the flies we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as, you could, as you guys continue walking forward. Uh, 4G. You continue uh, to wait. I remember uh, it. Cobalt. Cobalt. Okay. Cobalt. You continue to wait for something to to appear because this looks to be a summoning circle, as your old master used to use teleportation. Wait. But, I don't. Wait. Where? Where? Uh, are you? Uh, Vin. What is Vin looking at? Vin. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe he's just—he he, he has just a forest uh, for his his, for his, his thing. stream. Is he? Is he? Are you the one that's like uh, doing the? I'm animating oh. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were animating it. No, it's him. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm making. I'm making. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do something while he's saying. He's laughing in the chat. <laughs> I see. Okay. I have a party marker. Okay. Right. <laughs> My apologies. Dude. All right. Uh. So. Uh. Anyway, uh, train of thought. Alright, as you guys continue walking... Uh, shit, I completely forgot his name. Uh, Veror. Veror? Sorry. You, Vernon, you are falling. You are currently <laughs> in the sky, falling through the clouds. As you look down, you see the, a light shining up at you. And I assume you're screaming because the last thing you remember was you got hit by a truck <laughs> and now you're falling. 
That's rough. As, uh... as you are, as you as you fall through the sky and I assume screaming at this point, uh, Celeste and Elazar, you you get close closer to the to the light where you see it's coming out of the ground in the forest bed. You just see there is moss and grass, and all of a sudden you hear. And you see a, you, you see it only for a glimpse, but you believe it was a person fall right in front of you guys and crash through the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hide from it. <laughs> Cobalt, <laughs> as you are waiting for whatever to come out, you see it comes out of the ground, but all of a sudden you see the, the ceiling break open as you see a person fall straight down and freeze in the middle of the air and you can see him he is still freeze. screaming as he as he's floating uh <laughs> was there was there like um like an audible thud or did he not land no you can still hear him screaming though although he seems he seems to be like maybe a, a distance down but at, as you guys do you guys look into the hole i'm hiding <laughs> okay i'm investigating Alright, Elazar, you, you walk up to the hole, the hole, and when you look down with your dark vision, you can see the person is about 20 feet, 20 feet down the hole, in basic darkness. What? Veron, as your eyes try to adjust, you, you realize, oh my god, I'm alive, and you, you see that you are no longer falling. The light of the circle is somewhat blinding you, but as you look around, you see some sort of figure in the darkness looking at you. Oh man, I hide behind a tree. No, you're currently floating in the air. Oh, I'm floating in the air. Okay. You're you're currently floating in the air right above a circle. Okay. I'm stuck there. Do you want to try like move move out of it or? I'm gonna try to it? yeah. I'm gonna try to wait, wiggle wait. and then he, try wait, to. He's, but he's 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 kind of suspended in the air. Yes. Uh, uh, but is he in the hole? Yes, he's he's twenty feet down from you. If you're looking but, down at yeah, him. Yeah, but he's but he's um but he's like kind of like just right above like the landing area. Yeah, uh, basically, he's like uh, maybe like he's floating like maybe about like three feet in the air from from his floor, but he's like twenty feet down from your floor. Okay. Wait. Okay. So I'm, I'm down here. Rock bottom. Yes. <laughs> Maybe adjust this. Alright. Alright, let's see what shot guy uh, has to say. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to like roll, wiggle, see if I can like get out of this contraption that I'm stuck in. Okay. Uh, make a strength saving throw. Alright. Okay. Let's just roll a d20. Is that wait? Is that like um? Is that thing big? Uh, that that hole? Uh, how how um? Five. How big is this hole? How big is the hole? I would say about eight foot diameter. Eight foot diameter. Yep. And okay. That's uh, that's uh, that's Vin's puzzle I, to solve, I, not I, mine. I, I, rolled, I rolled a five. <laughs> oh, okay. You can oh, no. see, uh, you can see the figure, uh, Elazar. You can see down there uh, with your um, dark vision. You do see that the person is an elf, although you can't really tell what race he is due to the the light that's like shooting up into your face. Oh, but you see, he is currently flailing about inside in the light. I'm not sure if you're speaking at all um, while you're suspended in the air. Uh. No, I'm not speaking or, to Okay. Cobalt, you, you just see him just flailing about, trying to get out of whatever this magical field is. Celeste, are you doing anything? Or are you just... Um, I'll, I'll ask them, like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? Uh, I'm hiding do in I... a bush. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh... It might be a bit too bright for you. 
Uh, just for uh, reference, uh, Celeste does have like a like dark goggles to help her with the uh, bright lights and such, due to her light sensitivity. Oh, she has dark goggles. Yeah, basically, like like sort of like Chronicles of Riddick. Can style. I uh, Arcana okay. check this floating person? Yes, you can. Or the uh, circle, the runes on the ground that summoned. Yeah, that's fine. Which are uh, so you want to you want to arcade the person or arcane the circle? Uh, I'll do the circle. Okay, go for it. Give me a roll. All right, let me just tell you. Or... Uh, it's up to you. I'll trust you. Yo, Vigo. That is a uh, fifteen, and I'm trained in Arcana. So that's a plus two. Can I can I look around the hole and see if there's anything there? Oh, like if some, you were going to look up, like looking up or within the room? Look, look within the room. Like, is there any vines or something I could like try to snag? Uh, you do see that there. There is a couple vines that are sticking out from the roof. Oh, you might be able to reach one if you can wiggle a little bit more up to there. I will attempt. I will attempt to uh, wiggle upwards with like a somersault motion. Okay, I will not ahead. help. I will not help because I do not know who he is. All right, very well. And go ahead. Strength saving throw. All right. Damn. It. Wait, no, that doesn't. That's, that's, that's a D six. I, I rolled a six. Yeah. Thirteen plus right, thirteen. Plus a four. minus two. Wait. I got plus four. Oh, no, 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 plus plus four. Right. Because I have athletics. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, no, it's not. It's not athletics. It's it's just a saving throw. Oh, saving throw. Okay, yeah, plus four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What the right. heck is Shy Guy drawing? It's on the <laughs> ground part, so obviously it has to have like dinosaur bones. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show this then. Hold on, hold on. I gotta have this multi action oh, no. happening here. Double, double the visual. Beautiful art. That was amazing. <laughs> You guys do that. I'm gonna continue. What's this right. dinosaur uh, bone? Uh, Damn. All right. As you uh, as you reach for the vine, you are able to pull yourself out of the circle. I um I back up a bit. Okay. Well, out of the circle. So you're currently hanging about 20 feet from the ceiling, but about three feet from the ground. But you see, as you move out of the circle, it drops. The the light turns off. And you're currently in a dark tomb, from what you can see. You do see there is light above you, though. Light above us? Above you. You do, see, you do see, you still see the figure inside the room with you, though. Oh, okay. Um... Let's see. Well, I'll ask, uh, where am I? Well, what's going on? Alright, uh... With Yo, chat, what's ears, happening? <laughs> <laughs> above, uh, you two with your elven ears, you guys can hear him speaking this. Because he's what's not trying chat? to be quiet. What is a, a chat? chat? What is he talking about? What is a chat that you speak of? <laughs> is this man summoning the gods? He's talking to his god. Is it is The god named Chat. Are you guys saying that in character, or are you? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I I say it more quizzically. It's like, is there a god named Chat? Uh, <laughs> you hear a metallic voice speak to you within the ruins as you say, "Chat, what's happening, Chat?" <laughs> and you hear, "Is there a god named Chat?" Uh, no. That's, and you two, uh, and my new uh, you two elves up there also hear it as well. Uh, Chad is just the people that were watching me. Um, people watching. Wait, do you. do I have connection to the to the internet, or it got what? cut no. off? Okay. No, you you get. Remember, you got hit by a truck, mate. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. According to your backstory, you got hit by a truck. <laughs> that man did. <laughs> oh, I get. I guess, I guess I got disconnected somehow. Uh, where are the only people watching you now? I, I guess um so yeah i was i was suddenly walking and streaming and then suddenly 
a light hit came by and then suddenly I'm here or I'm falling and then I'm here and why 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 are my hands different? You also notice that you can see within this darkness. It is like like a, a black and white color as you look into the darkness. Oh, you can see yeah. the, the fine like oh, details oh of the room. Am I wearing glasses? No. What? No, you are not wearing glasses. That's what I say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are glasses? Uh. Training. Damn. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? And what's going on here? I'm kind of confused by that. Why did you say people? I only see one person here. I mean, I hear voices. There's multiple him voices. El- yeah. Crazy. Him, and his, him and his elven ears can hear them. Yeah. <laughs> you no, first. No, no answer? First. We're just confused. <laughs> uh, wait, do I know my own name or no? Uh, you said you have your own status symbol, so. Oh yeah. And Although it, I don't know if do, I don't know do, if your character would would your character know that that try to look for that. Um, let's see. Well, I don't know if I'm in a game or not right now, right? I'm, I'm just, yeah. it's, it's just I'm in a I'm in a room and I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. Um. You would technically just know your name then. Okay. Uh, I I apparently go by by ver ver. Wait, what's my name again? <laughs> I don't even remember my name. Uh. I, I I'm just okay. So I'm just gonna be like confused, and I won't even remember my name currently. And okay. like uh, I I don't remember my name at the moment. I'm I'm, I'm confused. What's happening? And Elazar and Celeste, I would like you to make perception checks. Okay. Just roll a d20. Yep, just roll a d20. Uh, I it? have I have plus two to perception, by the way. Um, according yes. to my yeah. yeah, you're you're an elf, so you get perception. Uh... You can just tell me I'll I'll, I'll trust you guys. Yep, give me a second. And a twelve. Okay. I gotta bring it up. I'm sorry. That's okay. I roll an eight plus two. Eight plus two. So, Celeste, you hear within the forest, you believe to be goblins as they start speaking in their goblin language. Although you do hear a couple of them speak common, you hear him go, Where's that light came from? It this way! So you, you hear that Celeste right now? Uh, by the way, is... Uh, what What's uh, Vin's uh, character? How do you pronounce it again? Um, I don't think I, I said it yet. Could you type it? Uh, out of character. Oh. Let's see. What Vernon. what what is Vin's character? Oh, Vern- oh okay, Vernon. Oh, uh, Ver- Vernon. What is, what's Vernon? Um, what, what's his state right now? Is he still floating? Is he still no, he he is he has pulled himself out of the light, and once he got out of the light, the circle went dark. Is and the light he... has stopped. Okay, is he on his feet? Yes, he is on his feet. Um, is he armed? Uh, looking at him, no, he does not look to be armed. Okay, so he has no equipment at the moment. Right? No, he but he does look to be he does look to be wearing elven clothing. As you look closer to him, he looks to, he appears to be a wood elf. Okay, which is one of the races that you're supposed to investigate. I see. Okay, I'll I'll come closer and let them know I heard goblins nearby. Hmm. All right, and as you as you try to listen in as well, you goblins aren't very quiet. You start hear you start hear, hearing them hooting, and hollering, trying to find what where that light came from and what that thing fell. 
What was that thing that fell? I start hearing it as well, right? Yes, you start hearing that. Mm -hmm. We get him out of the hole. It's up to you guys. You guys can try. You, if you guys want to, you guys can go in the hole, or you guys can try to get him out of the hole. So he's no longer floating. He is no longer floating. Doesn't seem dangerous. He just seems confused and weird. (laughs) Although you guys do know, goblins will try to eat you. (laughs) Oh boy. (laughs) Uh, I try to talk to him. I don't know if he's an enemy or not yet. Oh wait. Uh, is um, what's shy guy's uh, uh, character's name? We don't uh, know. You don't know yet. Cobalt. Oh, uh, Cobalt. Co- Co- Cobalt for out of character, is, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, is is Cobalt near us? Cobalt is down in the hole with him, down technically in the, in the same room as uh, Venron. Uh, and goblins haven't seen us yet, right? Goblins have not seen you. They're, they're still trying to figure out where the, where that the we call it, the hole is, because they, they just saw like come out of the forest. Hmm. I hear it too, right? I hear it too, right? Uh, the goblins, no, you are too too deep in the hole. Oh, okay. But, but uh, I believe, uh, Anna, wait, did you- or, Wait, are the goblins Celeste, upstairs? Did you, did, did, you, did you speak long enough, loud enough for them to hear it, that they're goblins out here? Uh... I don't want to freak them out. <laughs> okay, so you only tell it, Lazar, okay. Yeah, Lazar, yeah. Wait, go- right. goblins were upstairs, right? We're underground, and then- Yeah, you're the underground. Oh, okay. And Celeste has not told you about it yet. So, what do you call Cobalt looked at you though, or what did you say, uh, Perry? I ask him who he is and what is he doing here, and why, why is he coming down in the beam of light off this summoning circle? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got summoned here. I don't know what happened. From where? Just to make sure, you, you do remember that you got hit by a, a car or a truck. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, apparently I got hit by a, a vehicle and then suddenly I'm here. That that's all I remember. You were hit by like a like, like a carriage, uh, a car. You know what that is? Wait, I'm just saying. I'm just saying a car. What? A truck. You don't say a car. A truck. I okay. say I say a truck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that some type of horse-drawn contraption? Hmm. No, it's ran by an engine, and right. and metal Elazar things. and Celeste. You hear the goblins getting closer. You guys are just currently standing at the hole. Um, I motion. Uh, I motion. Uh, uh Celeste to to get into the hole. And you, you want me to get in the hole? Yes, get in the hole. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to uh cast a. Uh, cast a um, uh, cantrip. Go ahead. What cantrip uh, would you like to cast? Prestidigitation. I would like to create a um, a symbol appear, uh, like to like a nearby distance away from the hole. Okay, and, you can and, you can do up to thirty feet. Yeah, uh, I shall do it around yeah thirty feet from the hole and. Jump into the hole after that. Was okay. he casting What's... a light? He's he's no, he's just making a, like a regular symbol. Okay. On a tree, I assume. No, no, on the ground. Oh, on the ground. Okay. What is the symbol? Uh, it's just a magic circle. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. So you guys jump into the hole. All right. The hole is twenty feet down. So you guys will have to, if you're going to climb down the vines, go ahead and roll athletics for both of you. Um. Okay. Can I... Can I hang on to the vines? You can. But you still have to roll athletics just to make sure that you can hold your grip. Oh no, I got a roll to five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god. So we'll do Celeste first because he told you to get in the hole first. Celeste, as you gra- as you grab onto the vines, you're used to cave systems and you know rock climbing. You're not used to this, you know, wet vines and such. As you grab onto the vines, you immediately slip and fall down to the hole. No, <laughs> uh, Elazar, you, you hear a, you ah! <laughs> oh. I uh, um, you, you will get an acrobatics check, uh, Anna or um, Bunny. This is what you call to see if 
but now oh, you take no. damage on this. Oh no. I oh my back. gosh, I rolled a four. Uh, okay. <laughs> um... Venron. Yo. You hear you hear movement above you, and he's, as you look up, you see you wake up. You you hear them say, "Get in the hole," and you see a person is currently coming down the vines, and you see them just slip and immediately start falling straight down. Oh, so wait, am I like um, near the water ending, or am I just on the ground on the side here? You're tech you're technically near the hole, or like okay. near the circle, but you uh -huh. see someone falling. All right. Um. I will attempt to catch them. Okay. Go just ahead. Just well, catch me. Well, it I is up to you. You can roll athletics or... I have to make a... a Actually, no, uh, it would be athletics. Go ahead. I have to make okay. an athletics check as well, right? Yes. It's not that hot. It's not that high or hard. It's just Anna rolled really oh, bad. Oh, 14. Okay. 14. Okay. I rolled an 18 minus 1. 18 minus 1. How do you right. reset That's this fine. thing? You are able to hold on to the... Oh. You are able to hold on to the vine. Yeah. Okay. Anna, you will have taken six damage during for that fall, that really bad fall. But all of a sudden, as you fall and you, you expect to be hit by a heavy dose of reality, you are caught. And you as you look, old. as you look up, you you see there is a wood elf holding on to you. Are you okay? And uh, and Venron, you see there uh, from from your old past life, you've seen these things in you know your stories and anime and such. Oh yeah, that's, it looks that's... to be a dark elf. And a pretty one at that. Oh, I blush. You. Oh yes. <laughs> and then and I say, uh, "Are you okay?" And then do like the anime stare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, just as just as planned, right, Anna? This is the anime trope. <laughs> sure, you're the boss here. It's your world. I just live in it. <laughs> I turn. I, I turn down. Um. To ask if uh, Celeste is alright. Are you alright, Celeste? I don't know. <laughs> I'm very confused. I figured you want me to put you, put you down, right? I'm waiting sure. for like the thing, like you know. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me put down. you down. Alright, <laughs> right, Elazar, as you are holding up on on the vine from the hole, mm -hmm. you hear the goblins currently. Like scrounging around trying to find the where the the thing fell. Now the the thing with presentation, uh, I believe it only lasts for a minute. Um, the image, no, an hour. Oh, that one. Oh, that one's an hour. Okay. All right. You hear them. You, um, you hear them speak goblin, but you do hear a couple of them say speaking um, common. As they yell, "Oh, there's a symbol here." What's this mean? I don't know. It's magic. Search around. And you can hear them scrounging around. Would you like to move away from the hole, or are you staying up there? Or do you want to prepare for anything? Um. Am I? Oh shoot. Uh. You are twenty feet in the air, but you, you've rode good enough that you can just slide down the vine safely. I'd like to inspect what they have, um, without trying to make myself know. The goblins? Yes. Alright, roll stealth, and then after that, perception. Stealth and perception, okay. Yep. Stealth um, to see if they, whether or not they see you, and the perception, if you can see what they have. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I rolled a 2 on stealth. Ah, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh unfortunate. <laughs> All right, as you you and your spy training, you you lean up your head to go look where the goblins are. I looked up and as you time. as you look, just look over the crest of the hole. I you mean, see a goblin is looking straight at you as he's like looking at the ground. <laughs> All right, and then uh, do I, he, like, do I still get a perception check? <laughs> you can roll perception as well. Why not? He erases you so. <laughs> I rolled a 17 of perception. All right, you can see that they have looks to be um, mainly clubs, and you can see that they also have like little short swords. Although they are pretty banged up conditions. Uh, can I still safely slide down? 
Uh, well, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Because I need um, everyone to roll initiative at this moment. Oh boy. Uh, what is that? A D D twenty. D twenty plus your dexterity. Thirteen plus oh. uh, four. Seventeen. All right, seventeen for him. I roll a seventeen plus one. Ooh, I got a nat twenty. Very nice. Uh, five plus three, eight. Okay, and in the goblins. Okay. Celeste, you are first. You hear the goblins start start yelling, I found an elf! I'm a dark elf, biatch. <laughs> well, you don't think he's, they've seen you. As you look up, you see what you call Elazar is currently sticking his head out of the hole. I'm in danger. <laughs> um. Oh shoot, I forgot. Do I even have any spells for damage? I for forgot her. <laughs> spells? Mm -hmm. It's not like you can actually hit them because I'm 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 basically between. Um, yeah, they, they they don't even they don't even see you guys. They what do you call it? They see him. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna just sit down then. <laughs> <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Wait, is he stuck there? Like stuck in the? No, no. It's it, it, we're currently in initiative right now because he he failed the stealth check. Okay, but is he climbing right. down from the hole, or because his head is in popping out? Uh, right? When it gets to his turn, right now it's just so we call. Him. Right now it's Celeste's turn, okay. so Celeste chooses to sit down. Yo, we have we have two frames: the bottom of the cave on the left here, and then the right side it's the top above the above the in the forest. Uh, next is Elazar, your turn. What would you like to do? You see the goblin is looking at you and he, he's yelling out that he f they found an elf. Um, let's see. Uh, you can slide down if you like. That'll take up 20 feet of your movement. I can slide down and then uh, cast a spell, right? Uh, if you slide down, you won't be able to see the goblin that's the closest to the hole. You can shoot, you can cast yourself first if you like, and then slide down if you like. Uh, how far away is, is he from me? Uh, he's about 15 feet from you. 15 feet? Yeah, just, just like in front of you. Like as you stick your head out of the hole, you see him in front of you. Oh, okay, okay, so he's actually pretty far. Yeah. Uh, He's an okay distance, but he, he noticed the way you call the 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 Aladrin head pop out of a hole. I see. Um. Uh, do I know how far can they move? A turn? Them, they typically have a speed of a normal race, thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yeah. Um. Although you know that goblins aren't typically that strong. I am going. Wait, so uh, it's a, It's kind of like a more of an open area on down there, right? Down there, yes. It looks to be a more or less open area up there. You do see a couple of vines like falling down from the ceiling, but you I, wake up. There's a. There is basically a one corridor down. Uh, if you're going in, it's to your right, and then to your left is another corridor going. You assume deeper, just because of how the the designs of the ruin is. I slide down simply. Okay, you slide down. All right, that'll be 20, 20 feet of yours just to get down the rope safely or vine safely. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to move anywhere else? Um, like away from the hole or anything? You do see uh, Celeste is currently sitting down just beneath the hole. I sigh, uh, I sign a uh, I sign relief. And on top of that, um, they don't have dark vision, right? Goblins? Yeah. No, oh, no, they did. They have dark vision. They usually live in the dark. Okay. Um, I will move in uh, an angle where. So like, um, if they're coming towards me, like I'm gonna like slide down and I'm gonna move and uh, towards like the direction where, you know, their line of sight doesn't meet me. So they'll doesn't like, meet you? 
yeah, so don't lose me. When they... Okay, yeah, you move ten, you move ten feet into the wake up, kind of within the 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 tomb. Do you want to try to use one of the vines that are hanging down from the ceiling to hide behind? Um, because you you still have your action, so if you want, you can stealth or you can ready your attack if they come down. Let's see. Uh, when when the duration it says instantaneous. Okay. Uh, what spell you would you what spell do you want to cast or? So I don't. Uh, I I can't exactly see them though, so I can't exactly yeah. cast the spell. Well, you can you can hold the action if you want. What does holding the action mean? You 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 tell me what you're waiting for, and then you cast. You tell me what spell you want to cast, and what what triggers it. So like say like a firebolt. I will hold the firebolt, and if I see an enemy come within my sight, I shoot. Um, I ready infestation, um, and it will it will be triggered as soon as they uh, walk to the edge. Okay. Once they enter in. Huh? Once they enter in the the, the cave or the, the circle. Or um, the as hole. soon as they as soon as they get to the edge. Okay. This hole. All right. Um. By the way, um, uh, which direction are they coming from? Uh, from I mean, you if, from if you, if you're looking up at the hole, it would North, be uh, no 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 the, um cardinals. It would just... cardinals. That would be uh, would be west. They're coming. They're coming from the west. Yeah. Okay. Solka. All right. All right. Next is uh. Is that clear? Later on. Um, I s I still don't know what's happening. Right? Or did they say there were goblins? Uh. I don't think I don't think anyone actually said they were goblins. Yet. Okay. Oh, I can't I can't say it now, right? No, you, you can say it. It was what you call oh, it? the first um, encounter, so goblins. Goblins? <laughs> you mean those weak things from uh, MMORPGs? You have what? no idea what the hell an MMORPG is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it. <laughs> MM what? Massive player online? No. Uh, I mean they're they're the typical monsters, right? That we gotta fight. I'm just saying that it's in character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I, my mind, um, from the weird jargon that Vernon is is spewing out, um, my mind registers enough as typical monsters and uh, say yes. Oh, okay. Um, should we just get ready and ambush them? That is what I'm planning on doing. All right. Now. Uh, I as, as you as you see him like holding up his hand, you see dark energy is is manifesting it. It looks like he's waiting for the goblins to come near the hole. Okay, I, I will get ready for when they when they like land. I'm I'm gonna get ready to to throw my hands, throw some hands. Okay, so when they come in, you start punt, you yeah. start swinging. Yeah. All right. Very well. All right. Now uh, it is. I will hold my uh, action. Well, it's cast. not your turn yet. You're, you're last at initiative, mate. <laughs> well, fine. Yeah, fine. Uh, all right, it is a goblin's turn. In, in my in my mind, I I would think like uh, I'm in a game now. Okay. As you hear the goblins coming up to the hole, you do hear the sounds of orcish, and you hear one say. Get down there, you little shits! And he, you hear one goblin. We wait. He goes, wait, wait, wait! And you hear a, a kind of like a kick. And you see a goblin fall through the hole. Oh god. Te technically, it is it is within your striking range of Ven Venron. Oh. So wait, you may punch it if you like. Wait, but like, <laughs> uh, they're for, um... But you, you 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 do see what you call the orc at the edge of the hole though, so your your held action triggers as well. Okay. So uh, is it a saving throw or do you roll the attack? Um, target must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. Constitution. Okay. Oh, that's a success. That is a an eighteen plus two. So they save against the infestation, and then um. Venron, you may go ahead and roll your punches. Alright. Let's see. First hit. I rolled a eleven. You guys see my 11. dice roll, right? Or no? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. 11, I think I have... You have a plus 6 on that attack roll. Nice. I think. Yeah, plus 6. Okay, now you can roll damage. Your damage is 1d4, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. D4 is a 2. 2 plus... Uh, What's my... 2 plus two, two plus 4. Oh, well, down here it says... Oh, yeah, 4. So, right. so, so 6 damage. Six damage. As you punch the goblin, as he's falling through the, the ceiling, you see teeth fall out as the gum just falls down to the ground. As he, he hits the ground, you see his head just crack on the floor. I you believe work. a mixture of, of, of your punching and the, the fall killed him. I've worked with people like you before. <laughs> oh yeah. You hear the uh, you hear the orc seemingly not in noticing the infestation as you casted it. He kind of just shrugs it off. He, you hear him yelling down, "What's down there?" And the, you see the goblin that's just currently on the ground, just dead. You hear a bunch of other noises of goblins seemingly waiting for the news of what happened. Uh, Kobold, it is your turn. I will hold my action to wait until like a large group of them start coming down the vines to cast Grease on them. Okay. Alrighty then. So we're holding action. Alright, we go back to the top. Uh, Celeste, it is your turn. Um. You see a goblin fall from the fall from the ceiling and get smacked in the head as he hits the ground and cracks it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Need a thicker brush. Uh, can I bless everybody in the room? Uh, you can. It says up to three people. You can bless... You can bless uh, all four if you feel like, but that would use up your second tier spell, or you can just use your first level and bless three of you. Uh, I'll bless the three of them. Okay, so you use up one of your first level spell slots. You Is have three more. Sitting? I have no idea. Are you still sitting? Or are you standing? Yeah, I'll cast it while I'm sitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you feel um, the... A, a soft moonlight glow around you and guiding your strikes. All right, and then, uh, are you staying where you are, Celeste? <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, Elazar, it is your turn. Uh... You still see, you still see the orc. The orc se seemingly hasn't noticed the the blast of infestation, and he looks kind of pissed that like, the goblin's not speaking. Um, I, um, I sigh at, uh, first I sigh at Celeste, um, but I, um, <laughs> because, uh, this is, this is also, um, this is a lazy behavior that, that uh, I've <laughs> noticed, um, over the past week as well, yes. but, um, well, I'm, then. I'm getting, she has healed you many times though, so that's good. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I, so I don't really say anything about it, okay. um, I will, uh, turn to, um, I will turn to, like, the, uh, orc, and say, it's just, it's only me, uh, and cast infestation. <laughs> okay. Are you, are you trying to pretend to be the goblin, or are you, are you just speaking as yourself? Uh, as myself. Okay. I gotta say though, for visual representation, the above ground is more high definition than below ground. <laughs> Here. <laughs> so constitution saving throw. Oh, he rolled a natural one. Alright, go ahead and roll damage. Uh damage. Uh give me a second. Oh, I'm pixelated world down here. <laughs> <laughs> they ran out of the budget, okay. <laughs> uh damage is one. Oh, okay. And I roll a 1d4. No, no, bless doesn't doesn't help the the damage. It only helps. The no, 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 no. Um, oh. it's a dice to determine what direction he goes. Oh, okay. Oh, he could fall down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, is, is position hit himself or? 
No, he 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 moves in a direction, depending on what direction it is. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I roll a one. Unfortunately, one. So that means he heads north, five feet. Okay, so he moves. He he kind of just moves out of the way of the hole, five feet away. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next, it is. Uh, uh Venron. Uh, let's see. It's your turn. You see what I'm doing here, button, right? <laughs> I, I, I look you, up, I look up, and I see what I see. You see there are, th- you see that there are three goblins looking downward, kind of scared and trying to figure out what happened to their, the one guy that got, uh, that got like thrown down. Mm-hmm. And you can, okay. see, you see an orc kind of go Ugh! as he's being hit by the infestation, moves to, moves to your right, away from the hole. Okay. Uh... You do see that the go- on the goblin, you see that there is a way called looks to be a sling and rocks. If you want to try to throw them at it, at him, or you can just throw the club that he has. Hmm. Or I, right. th- I think your char- I think your character is proficient with slings. Yeah, but I don't have a sling. But the goblin does, right? Yeah, yeah the goblin your- has a sling. Oh, okay. Uh, I go grab the the sling from the goblin. Okay, and you go and try and make an attack. Uh, yes. Do I roll okay. at disadvantage or? Nope, that's just a that's just a straight roll. All right. Do you guys? Yep. You you have you have a you also have blessed, so you get a D four on that attack roll. Oh okay. Let's see. Oh no, I rolled that one. <laughs> I sling myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or what one. happens? Oh, let's see. I gotta roll to see how bad this goes. I, I let go the wrong side of the slingshot. <laughs> Okay. All right. I need you to make another D twenty. All right. Sixteen. Can I do guidance on him? Please don't hit us. Well, no, it, it's just blessed. So. Okay. A Sixteen. All right. All right. Let's see. One, two, three. That's whatever thing is. Okay. All right. Harry, um, what is your is is your AC um twenty two or higher? Not close. All right. So go yeah. ahead and roll damage. Uh, uh, roll damage. All right. Was it yep. D four? Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. A three. Oh God. That's seven. <laughs> yes. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cobalt, as you are as you are standing there waiting for him to come down, you see the the wood elf swing the sling around and lets go of it too early and the rock flies and hits you straight in the head. Oh you boy. take seven points of damage. My bad. <laughs> I don't know how to- this is my first time using a slingshot. Are you unconscious? Uh, how much damage? Seven. No, I'm still alive. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we're right. trying you, to do you take a, you take a You take a, a rock straight into your head. Um... I'm convinced that uh, Verna does not know how to use a sling. <laughs> Do you think that? <laughs> My first day, sorry. <laughs> Alright then, next. Uh, uh, Do you want to move, uh, Venron? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a few steps back uh, away from the goblin corpse again. Okay. Back to where I was. Yeah. By the way, right. does, uh, does Cobalt... Um, audibly react to that. <laughs> he wasn't prepared to dodge though, right? No no, does does he audibly react? Is it, like does he does he win does, 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 does a cobalt say anything when he gets hit by a rock oh. straight in the head? Yeah. I sigh and say uh, elves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright uh, un- unfortunately uh Cobalt because you were concentrating on a spell which is grease to be cast, you do have to make a concentration check on this. Because oh, you got hit by a elf. rock in the head. <laughs> So, you only need to get a 10. It's my roll plus con, right? Yes, constitution saving throw. If you oh, have yeah, um, 18. Okay, that's good. That would have been very bad if you lost that spell right there. Oh, we would have slipped into the pool of water. <laughs> Alright, so, um, as you, uh, so after your turn, uh, Venron, you hear the oracle, Get down there and get me that elf's head! And... The goblins will come. <laughs> uh, you hear a bunch of footsteps. 
seemingly trying to get down the vines. And then give me a second, because these things also have to roll their athletics to see if they get down the vines safely. <laughs> Right. Uh, does my uh, spell go off? Yeah, once you said once they get down to the ground, or uh, once they get into a group? Once they yeah, start climbing down. Yeah. Okay. Disadvantage. Right. You, you can see a total of eight goblins come down. Three out of the eight fall. And... Eight of them, huh? Ooh. Okay. Alright. Three out of eight fall and crack their heads on the on the floor as they slip off the vines. Nice. Five of them do get onto the ground safely, but not Cobalt's grease spell goes off, and I shall roll their dexterity saving throw. Okay, uh, what's your DC, uh, Cobalt? Uh, three plus eight plus my. Proficiency bonus. Two. Eleven, so thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. And dexterity you save. Throw. Right. Of the five, two of them slip. Oh, we're back to nice. Alright. But the three the three that are able to hold fast on their feet. They look around and they see there are three elves inside here. They are kind of confused on which elf that they're supposed to go after. So one will go for each elf, because that is the order of their orc boss. Wait, did, did they slip and crack their heads too? Or No, they uh, two of them just simply slipped, but okay. they're just they're just prone on the ground. Okay. So But they will not be able to get to you guys at this moment, the two, but there are one for each. So first one. One for Celeste. And Celeste, you are on the ground, so you have they have advantage on you because you're prone. So rolling for the hit you. All right. Um. Oh wait, what is less? I'm just gonna move the bodies to clear up the plot. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Roll the sixteen. All right. Uh, All right. That hits you, Celeste. The club hits you for six points of damage. No. And they hit you on the head, and I need you to make an, a constitution saving throw. Ugh. Yikes. Seven. Seven. Okay, you lose less. No. I was avoid. I'm doing All right. Let's see. Bombs away! Okay. Bomb. <laughs> and and in the Celeste, you are currently at 15 HP. Why is it attacking me? I'm <laughs> just sitting here. I mean, there's still, there's still one more. They're, they're, they're attacking each of the elves because their order was to hit the elves. I have no. Right, Venron, <laughs> on damage. you now. Alright. Alright, that is a, um, a 15 to hit for you. What is uh, your AC? Let me see. Hell. My thing sheet. Uh, I have AC of 17. Alright, it misses. You immediately dodge its club. And the next is on. With my hands on. in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's my armor class? Your armor class is. Yeah. You are a sorcerer and your, your dexterity is 12. So your AC is 11. Okay. Does he have mage armor? Uh, no, he does. Uh, I have his. I haven't figured out my my his spells yet. Yeah. So, I mean, he said to cast it though. If he wants to put mage armor on. Yeah. Mage armor lasts for eight hours, so it's something you just do at the start of the day. Yeah, but he hasn't decided if the mage armor is the thing he, he wants because he he has he only has four spells that he can learn. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I rolled a ten. He misses. Nice. The club haphazardly attacks you. Uh, Those are, and you immediately just just bat the the club away. All right, but coming down, the orc comes down the hole, and he makes the climb check, and uh, what's the grease? Did I actually just assign you guys random avatars? Oh, he fails the grease though. As you see the orc come in, he goes, 
Where is that elf? <laughs> and he falls down onto the ground. Does he see us? Yes. Or at least he sees you, cause, or he's looking at you, because you're the one that did that infestation on him. But he, he is currently prone on the ground from that movement, and he doesn't have enough movement to to get up. Until the next turn? <clears throat> yeah, well, when, on his next turn, he can get up. Alright, that is his turn, and now, uh, Kobold, your turn. Uh, so, some of these guys are covered in grease, right? Oh yeah, there, there, there's that. There is a uh, currently uh, two goblins and an orc that are currently prone in the grease. I hit them with a fireball. All right, fireball. Nice, good job. I assume you want to hit the orc. Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead and roll attack roll. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten right. plus three, which is my. Uh, Charisma plus two is my proficiency, right? Yes. So yeah. All right. Oh, that just barely hit it. You see a fifteen orc. Oh wait, no. Uh, you got to roll again because he is prone and that is a range attack. I get rid of that disadvantage using. The ah. Ah, uh, hello. You cheating bastard! No, I'm joking. He gets right. over to what? Uh, his, uh, uh, one of my clockwork soul abilities is to um, get rid of advantage or disadvantage. On a roll. Nice. Oh no, it's my it's my reaction. Oh, oh I, yeah, I, I got to re-roll it. Never mind. You can use your reaction. Um, Less um, on him. Because you you gain your reaction back on the side of your turn. All right. So yeah, I would just use my reaction then, so I won't be able to react uh, next turn. Yep. All right. So you use your uh, and you hit him with the fire. All right. Go and roll damage for your firebolt. The initial damage. Does a D10. Uh, ooh, solid 10. Ooh, nice. Alright, 10 damage. And now we roll a D6 for the fire. Now everything lights up as the grease just catches on fire. And everything in the grease takes... Oh wait, you can roll the damage for the D6. Okay. Uh, 3 damage. 3 damage, okay. 3 damage. As the cold, as the goblins and orcs are currently on fire. All right, and next it goes to, it goes back to Celeste. Celeste, there is a goblin in front of you hitting you with a club. Um. <laughs> you might want to stand up so it doesn't have advantage on you. I should stand up. I will stand up and go behind somebody. It, it will have it will have an attack opportunity as you move away from it. I will stand up and. Oh my gosh, I have nothing. You have a rapier. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, I do. I, 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 okay, I'm gonna stab it. Okay, go ahead. Take it off. Eleven. Okay, you. By the way, you have a plus six to this. Damn, plus so, six. So that's so that's um. So that's 17. Yeah, you 17. easily hit the, the goblin. Now go ahead and roll a d8 for damage. Three. <laughs> that's three plus four, and that is... A goblin's health is seven. And you kill it. All right. As the goblin yeah. stabs... As the goblin hits you in the head with this club, you kind of shake your head and stand up, and you take, unsheath your rapier and just stab him in the face. You see the goblins just fall back onto the ground. Um. And you know, would you like to move anywhere, Celeste? I will move away behind right. somebody. <laughs> would you like to move behind? If the person closest oh, no, no, no. to me. Okay, that would be that would be Venron. Do they still have um, bless on them? No, you lost bless because of the, the club hit. Uh, can I do it again? Or? You already used your uh, action. No. You, you already used your action. Oh, okay. Okay, so you are behind Venron. Venron, the dark elf, hides behind you as she... And mind you, it's kind of shocking as she stabs a goblin in the face. Very skillfully, actually. I mean, I kind of expected it, right? Because... RPGs. Uh, 
<laughs> Alright, and now is Elazar. Um, so what's the situation? Uh, we have a we have a orc on the floor. You you have one orc and two goblins on the floor currently on fire, and they're still on fire because they're in the the grease. Oh, I'm on fire as well. Yeah, they're all on fire. That's why there's there's that image of fire over there. No, he's asking and... if he is on fire as well. No, no, you're not on fire. You, you moved you moved away oh, from the hole. Um, and then uh, there there is currently a uh, one goblin in front of you. He tried to hit you, but he swung ineffectively. Ineffectively. Ah, Dude, I'm I... too late to do the, the animations happening on the other side. <laughs> um, are goblins not intelligent? Goblins are pretty stupid, but they do they do want to survive. Well, that doesn't mean anything in the. <laughs> Uh, when I cast Mind Silver. Oh no, the Mind Silver will will affect them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything against my Mind Silver. <laughs> um, <laughs> succeed, uh, succeed on an Intelligence saving throw. Okay. Uh, it's a minus one, a twelve. I don't know what your DC is. Uh, shoot, what's my DC? Uh, how can I find my DC? It okay, usually it's eight plus your casting ability plus your proficiency. Yeah, Do I have proficiency in my spell? Yes. yes. Uh, so uh, yours is plus four. Usually yours is, four, yours is fourteen. So right. It's so it's it, it, no no his DC is fourteen. Oh. All right. So he failed. So how much damage? Um, I'll make a roll. A one d six, right? I think so. Uh, I deal six damage. Six damage. All right. All right. He is bloodied and looks like he will fall over just by just a simple slap, but he is still up. Uh, do I also roll a one d four on um uh, on how much it subtracts from him? Subtracts saving throw. Oh, uh, yeah, you can do that. He loses four on the next saving throw he makes. Alright, very well. I'll keep that in mind. The one in front of you has a minus four. Alright, next it is uh, uh, I believe it is Van Ron's turn. Goblin's bleeding, right? Yes. Um, there's a guy in front of you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna punch the guy in front of me with my that, that uh, goblin. That goblin that was that I I hit was he also on fire? <clears throat> no, he was not on fire. Okay. The only the goblins that slipped were on fire. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the the fully healed goblin. I guess is that the one in front of me? Yeah. Yep. Right. He hasn't been hit yet. Okay. I'll hit him first. <clears throat> Nine plus what? Six. Is that a four? Uh, yes. Fifteen. Yeah. Hit okay. That hits. All right, cool. Roll Three plus four, seven. Yep, that's exactly what you needed. You punch him and you kill him. I assume, him. I assume you punch him and he falls straight back into the fire. And then you do um, have a bonus. You do have a bonus actually if you like to punch another one. Right. Uh, you can go attack the one next to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elazar. Un unarmed or... strike, right? Yeah, there we go. Let me let me attack the 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 one that's bleeding. Alright. Oh, he's, ble he's bleeding right. from the inside. I'm pretty oh, sure he's dead, that. right? He had like yeah, one HP. Yeah, he, he, he only had one HP, so I he slap. I, I backhand slap him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he falls forward next to you, Elazar. Yeah, I'm a monk. Uh, can I brush him off? Yeah, easy enough. Okay. I All right, now is, the, now is the goblin's turn. The goblin orc turn. So they take 1d6 of fire damage at the start of the turn. Uh, Kobold, you can go ahead and roll that first for the damage. The 1d6. Yep, uh, 6 damage. Yep. Alright, the, the two goblins are dead from the fire. Now it's the orc's turn. The orc will stand up. 
and move, so he doesn't have to roll a dexterity saving throw as he moves from the grease. He succeeds with that natural 20. And let's see. Uh, the closest describe, one would be... Uh, can you describe how he succeeded? Um, yeah, he, 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 he stands up and... <laughs> he stands up and holds himself from the sliding of the grease. And he, as he looks forward, he sees uh, Venron is the closest one. He see Actually, let me see if he's... He, orcs are pretty stupid. Let me see if he's that spiteful. Yep, okay. He ignores Venron and tries to go for you, Elazar. <laughs> but Venron, you do you do get a you do get an attack opportunity. As Ooh, his, nice. He, he blindly <laughs> tries to run through you. Hmm? Oh, nine. Oh, man, so close to twenty. Nineteen plus six. Nineteen. All right, that hits. Go ahead and roll your D four. Uh, a four. Ooh, plus, eight damage. Yeah, and then plus that that thirteen damage from before, and then plus that extra six. Oh, that kills him. As he runs forward, he just yells I trip towards Elazar, and he just gets punched straight forward. Or oh, you want to trip him? Yeah, I want to do a leg sweep. Okay, e enough. He slips, and his head just falls flat on the ground, and smacks. Easy. All right, and then the counter. Uh, oh, that was a workout. The fire is the fire still burning? Yeah, the fire will burn for about a minute, but I, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll I released my grease spell. Okay, easy enough. Jeez. You see that stuff just just poofs into the leak of black smoke. All right, guys. Damn, I didn't even get the use. I, I automatically have my ability. So since I'm 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 pretty sure it's like a game or something, I I I, I yell status. Um, so that I'm work? only concerned for Celeste's safety, um, and ask if are you alright? I got bonked. So, yeah, you have a, you have like a little bit of blood on your, your head, but... It bonked me. <laughs> I go and inspect it. Run around, as you yell out, STATUS! <laughs> I see my security know. sheet. <laughs> no, uh, as you, as you like, yell out STATUS, you kind of move your hands uh, around and... I'll just roll a d20 and see if whether or not you see it. Oh yeah, okay. As you kind of move your hand around, eventually you move your your right hand up and you kind of just pull downward and a, a status bar comes out. Oh. And then you to see your character sheet of what you call your character. Oh, okay. And I, I, I carefully look through him and my abilities and stuff. As as you guys are seeing this, you to see him just moving his hands around and then eventually he kind of pulls his hand down and it looks like he's looking at something, he's reading something in the air, but you guys do not see anything. Oh, he, uh, to us, he's just swinging at the air. Yeah, he's just he's just swinging at the air, and you he heard him say "status." Is he okay? What is he doing? Apparently, he got hit more on the head than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, uh, Venron, you see uh, basically your character sheet. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I close my status window and then I walk over to them and be like, "All right, um, name's Benron. Um, what's what's going on here? Are we on a quest for any treasures or whatever? Is there a demon lord? Who are you? <laughs> oh, God. I'm Benron, and apparently I am a wood elf. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> yeah." I, uh... You don't seem to exhibit, uh... I, I think to myself, he doesn't seem to exhibit, like, um, behaviors that I would thought that, um, that was described to me in the files. No, he, he does not at all. He does not at all. He's, he's not even, like, hiding within, like, the woods or anything. He's just... He's not showing any sign of, like, stealth or... Of the woodland nature of the widows would use he use. I'll, I'll ask him, where is he from? Um... I'm from. I'm from a place called California. <laughs> I've never heard of this place. Huh? What? What? It what must place? Be far away. Yeah. Wh <laughs> where are we exactly? Do they know what uh, the forest is? Uh, 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 I, 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 um, I respond. Um, Good night, Wicked. For Talia. Yes. Ah. Uh. That's a new place to me. You guys have a map of any sort of the world? 
um, you you would um, Elzon, Elzon, you you would not show him your map because that has all your like strategic notes and you know yeah. where your home village is within like the I hidden not, within the woods. Yeah, I do I not have a map on me. I show him my map. All right. Okay. So I know what they know, at least in all right, location wise. As, as you see his map, you see his map. Um, uh, it's um, it's written in dwarvish, by the way. <laughs> I just see the picture. <laughs> All right. You see, you see the picture basically, and we call uh, Elizon. As as you look at the map that he brings up, you realize, yeah, that map is it is pretty out of date. As you're like looking down at it, it's like some of these places don't even exist anymore. Um, I recognize them, but I will I will not say anything about them. Anything? Uh, do I should I roll a history check on the if I? Yeah, you can go ahead and try roll history check. I forget. Yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <It's a> punch <laughs> you. <laughs> I oh I should, I should roll have done that. a five minus one. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well then, uh, but no. I, but I should be able to to recognize that uh that the picture does not look the same as. Yeah, they, 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 the 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 continent is correct, but the the names and the places on it they don't. As you look at your map, they don't match your map at all. And I'm that, not taking on my map. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you notice that they they don't recognize any of like your your past schooling, basically, yeah. from anything. You, you you've heard like two of these places, but you heard that they 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 basically either got destroyed or just got abandoned like maybe yeah 50 or so years ago one of them's like 80 years old yeah can i pull elizar to the side and talk to him yeah you can do that uh at venron do you do you see them being you see the the dark elf pull the the looks to be a high elf no, a, away I'm from busy, i'm busy studying the map oh, okay. <laughs> remembering the wrong locations <laughs> okay so you're studying Kobo the kobold's map Yes. Cobalt, are you giving him the map, or are you, are you just holding it out for him to see? Just holding him out. And okay. I asked, like, what did this say? Like, I'm I'm holding it, and he's, like, looking <laughs> over my shoulder, basically. Okay. So, and, as, I, and I only know their names in uh, Dwarvish, so I'm calling it their dwarf names. Okay. Yeah, easy enough. So he just, he spills out a name as he points to it. Okay, can you repeat that? Sorry, I, 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 can't, I can't really understand... Where where are we exactly on the map? Like in the, are we in the center of the continent or? Uh, when you point, uh, do you well, actually depends I, on I asked, Cobalt, yeah, does ask, it? Ask Cobalt, see if he knows. <clears throat> Cobalt, do you point out where you guys are, or do you guys just do you just point out the general area? Yeah, I point out the general area somewhere in the okay. forest. I haven't mm -hmm. uh, marked. Yeah, so he point he points into a, like a big forest okay. area. You do see that there there looks to be locations to the the west, north, and east of it, and where you guys are. You guys are kind of in the center of the mm, of okay. like you're on the western side of the continent, but you see that you're in between looks to be nations. Uh, so um, I look up. Are the vines still all intact and stuff? The vines? Uh, yeah. no. But most of them were were set on fire due to the grease. Okay. And then when it licked up the vines, ah, so we have no way of getting out. I, I will, I will look around the the cave to see if there's like any kind of exit of some sort. Yeah, as you as you go into the, the dark cave, you realize well for one thing as you're you realize your eyes can see within the dark now. Oh yes, one of but, my powers. But er but everything is what you call um in black and white. Mm. Do I need right, to do but a perception you, check you, or anything? You, yeah, you can roll perception if you like. Alright. Uh, you will have disadvantage because you do not have a light source with you. Okay. So 17... Oh, yeah, he, he only, he only I rolled it twice, right? Yeah, he sees in black away and oh. it's not as detailed. Nice. What's my perception? It is... plus 5. Oh, alright, I fancy. What did you roll? 17 out of 14. Okay, so you take the 14 because of disadvantage, but that's still a 19. 
right. I think you can see that there, there are, there are um, within this tomb, there are symbols on top of the walls, although they are kind of faded and looks to be just from just being deserted. You do see that on the top of the ceiling, there are vines within the ceiling leading upward. But you do see there is a corridor to, to your left and then a corridor to your right. Alright, I mentioned that to the everyone else. Corridor, symbols on the top guys, I don't know what they say. I can't really see them too well, but... Okay, Kobo, we... you, you've been to... You, you've come from the door from the, the corridor from the right. Uh, and that's his... Oh. Yeah, I explained to him that I came from that way. Uh, are the symbols in any type of language I understand? Uh, look, looking I, up on... I know uh, Dwarvish and Common. Okay. As you go look up on the, like, the symbols, uh, you do not understand them. <clears throat> they do not be, seem to be in Common or Dwarvish. Although, you, you from, from your knowledge, you believe that you do see some symbols and you recognize it as Celestial, but you do not understand. You can't discern exactly the full language of it uh, I tell them that it looks like some type of form of uh, celestial celestial huh mm -hmm. does uh, does anyone know celestial actually what do I know right now uh well, you are an Eladrin, so you get common and I believe one language of your choice. Well, you get common and elven in one language of your choice. Um, no worries, Reyna. And what wow. uh, what languages are there? Uh, uh, there's a uh, for you. There's dwarven, gnome, halfling, demonic, infernal, yeah. celestial, goblin, orc, draconic. Um. Draconic, yeah. Do you, uh, do you, uh, uh, help me out here, um, what does my, what does my, uh, company, uh, work with the most, the race? Mr. Ron, bye, Reyna. The race? Well, you, you, you're, you're an elf, so the way call you have Elvish already, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, no, like, um, I'm talking about, like, who, who do we mainly deal with? You mainly deal with, because you're an Eladrin, you, you deal with the face, so it, it would be Sylvan. That's a, a common one. Sylvan, yeah, yeah and, uh, it'll be Sylvan then. All right, very well. You can you basically put on YouTube fae creatures and uh, woodland, also woodland creatures as well. Okay. Alrighty then. And then uh, Anna, your yours is common and underdark. Undercommon. Yeah, undercommon. I just got common and wellbish. Well, you you, you can speak any of the common languages oh, okay. you just can't read it because you're not from okay. this this world but you, you're through your blessing you you understand languages okay. but the thing is he spoke names so it wouldn't change the name <laughs> okay because it's, it's still the same thing <laughs> all right so so to the left and i know we came from the right uh, and then no one knows the symbols uh i guess that's the w only way out unless you guys want to try to climb back up and Risk the vines breaking. They are broken already. I don't know what you were talking about. I don't know. There was some extra ones over there. Yeah, they, they just lead to the ceiling, though. They, they're not oh, okay. leading from the hole. Okay. The grease fire destroyed the vines that were at the hole. How tall? How tall are the vines above the caves? Above the caves, the the ceiling is about twenty feet okay. from you guys. I guess we can. I guess that's the only way out. And then I will, I will attempt to jump and grab the vines. What vines? The ones on the he's ceiling. Just, he, he's just jumping onto the ceiling, basically. Yeah. So going to real athletics. Yeah. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what'd you roll? A you one. Roll a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you run and jump and you climb up and then you slide right back down, falling onto your head. Ow. Head? All right, let's see how much damage you take. Ooh, six damage. Oh, max damage for the falling. 
six damage. Where's my where's my actual actual sheet? Uh, it's right here. And then as as I get out, I'm like, oh, I want to be Spider Man. <laughs> uh, for uh, Celeste and Elazar, you don't know who Spider Man is, but you have heard of humanoid spider creatures, which are considered evil, known as the the and our caps, which are psychotic man spider creatures. Um, I think I'll... very, very weirdly of Vernon. I'll tell Elazar. I don't know who this guy is, but I think we should help him. He, I think he needs help. You are bleeding from the back of your head, by the way, as you, <laughs> you lift yourself up. <laughs> that man needs help. <laughs> um, in more ways than one. Yeah. But first, um, you have to. Do, I think you need to patch yourself up. Oh yeah, uh, I should. <laughs> do I have anything? Can I kind of rip a sh piece of my shirt off? Yeah, you can rip oh your God. the piece of your shirt off and okay. try to yeah. cover I'm the. Yeah, stripping. Uh... He rips off a, a piece of cloth, and you look at it. That's a pretty. You know, expensive fabric as he rips it up and then ties it around his head. And I was like, "What? It's just starter, starter, beginner gear." I assume a defensive position, um, because uh, you know, me being alerted uh, that this person is pretty weird. Mm. I, you I, see I, him I, kind of just grab his uh, his uh, light crossbow, uh, ready to shoot. I assume. I tie it around my head like Ryu. My <laughs> okay. <mind>. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, he he. Oh, he's patching himself up. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> oh. All right. Uh, Shall what we? Items do I, what items do I have again? You have the just a regular adventuring adventurous kit, so like rope and such, pitons. Nice. I'll just um, do cure wounds on myself. All right. Easy enough. Go ahead and roll a d8. And then plus, um, yeah. See, I, I would make give these guys some time. I did my own thing. I w <laughs> seven. Uh, um, so you get plus three, so ten. Ten HP healed. Three, I'm healed. Yeah. As you see, when you call Celeste, hold up her hand. Um, a light, kind of great, a silver light comes from her hand as she touches her head. You see the wound on top of her head just close up. I walk. Um, I, I go up to her. Yeah, I, I go up to her and be like, Damn, you're, you're a priest? You can heal? I'm a cleric. Oh, so that's what they call here. Okay. What? Nice. Um, <laughs> nice. I do, rip up a, I do rip up a piece of my robe and have her clean her blood. Right. Um, just to let you know, prestidigitation can clean. Oh, oh, oh. I was thinking... The, the funniest part was like I was thinking about using mending. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I will. I will clean awesome. her um, her blood stain with. Plus, I don't think we have any items. Right, easy enough. Oh, he he can he can also mend that rip that you made in your your shirt. <laughs> you didn't yeah, take that much fabric. It's it's one foot of square that you can repair. Um. Yeah. If he chooses. We good. We good. I, I, right. I look at him and sigh, and um, and uh, yeah, I, I will do that as my first um, act of quote unquote helping this individual. All right. As you you see um, this uh, elven person reach up his hand, he touches your shirt, and you see the shirt kind of just repair itself. It does get a little bit thinner, but it basically mends itself back did, to normal. Did my headband disappear? No, it, but you feel you, the cloth like around your body kind of like okay. thin about to basically stretch to to repair it. Damn, you can you can heal wounds, you can heal clothes. Damn, I'm jealous. I don't have any of that. <laughs> I sarcastically say, I guess. You as your Eladrin self being such a, a highborn of you and this wood elf is telling you, saying that you just repair clothes. <laughs> That's such an affront of your your magical abilities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I just just I, let I, you I know, you high elves kind of consider them mud, like mud-born kind of 
elves just because of their wood elves blood, lineage. Blood, blood. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I roll my eyes as well. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, I'm gonna start making way to the left corridor, and while I'm I'm walking, I'm gonna like look around in case there's any traps or anything. Or like, as you look around, you, you still see the, the this what do you call man that's uh, dressed in what do you call uh, the the man that you you uh, you guys noticed before. He is dressed in uh, heavy robes, and he looks to be covered with bandages on him, as if he received an injury. Are you are you describing Cobalt right now? Yes, Kobold. Oh, oh yeah. He Mr. does have a he does have a necklace that has like a gem on top of it though. <laughs> gem. Interesting. Here on Kobold. Here, here, here. Oh, I was describing them how you look. Did you want to say anything? Uh yes, so we should probably move out before more goblins or orcs show up. And as he speaks, you see the the crystal glow on top of his his chest, and it it comes out like a kind of a metallic voice. Damn, Iron Man! <laughs> Do you want me to heal you first? I've uh, I've healed myself while you guys were um, looking at maps and stuff. Okay. Bye. Uh. Um, I. Uh, I do want to um, inspect <laughs> inspect Cobalt. All right, easy enough. Um, so are you are you just so? Uh, so what do you mean by inspect? Are you like uh, checking his clothes? Are you coming up like out of him? Or are you just looking at him from afar? Uh, just trying to just trying to like um, what is he? It's like um, you say he's like a robotic kind of thing. Well, no, what do you call? That that was from the what what race when you but you guys don't know he's a warforged. Your characters oh. don't know. He basically looks like a heavily robed man with uh with bandages on him, self. Heavily robed man. Oh, okay. So, okay. So I don't I don't exactly um I can't you do not know what his yeah, metallic. You don't know what his yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, uh, so... if you want, you can ask him to take off his 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 robes, but whether that your character would do that. It's up to uh, you. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's oh, see. Mm. What do we um, see if we get towards the S exit? Okay. Right. So you go to the left side, yeah? Yeah. All right. As you walk down the hallway, you get about uh, maybe a good like 10 or 20 feet forward, and you can see it turns to the left. Do you wait for them, or do you continue walking? I, I look back and be like, yo, let's, let's get going. We're a party now. Strange terminology he, he's using, but I cringe. You guys follow him, and and I cringe and follow. Um, and I I motion to uh, Celeste. Uh, we could follow for now. Okay. I also turn to Cobalt. Um, and I uh, I admire I admire Cobalt. Um, that was that was a really that was a really um, nice combination that you did back there with the grease and a firebolt. Uh, what, um, and, uh, seeing your composure uh, back there, uh, um, I'm more, I was, I am more inclined to, um, ask who is, who are you? What, what's your name? Oh, my, I am, uh, Cobalt. I'm, uh, a scribe, if you will. A scribe. Interesting. Just searching this place for um, yeah, lost uh, magical arts, and you guys just fell through the ceiling. Hmm. Huh. Uh, Venron, can you roll a d twenty? <laughs> All right. As you were walking. Where is my thing? Well, um, wait. Uh, what did what did Vin uh what did uh Vernon uh, actually what did Vernon actually find on like the when he went to the upper side? Not, not, not where he is right now. Like when he first inspected, what did he see? He just, he just saw the we call. Uh, there are symbols on top of the the ceiling, and then uh, from what Cobalt informs, they are a type of celestial language. Mm. But uh, at this moment, you guys do not understand him. But as he continues walking down, and mind you, your dark vision, especially uh, Celeste, Celeste has a hundred twenty feet dark vision, so you can see pretty far down each hallway. You see that it's just basically a. For where he's going, it goes straight and it turns to the left. 
but he is waiting for you guys at the end, like at the end near the turn. Uh, Venron, with that uh, roll. Oh, oh. Uh, I. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, no. I, I also kind of just um, motion to uh, Cobalt, and I'm like, uh, yeah. I, well, uh, hopefully we'll find something down here. Uh, in that case, uh, it is nice to meet you. My name is Eliazar. Greetings to you. And, yeah. Um, I, I then go back to Celeste and um, uh, motion her to uh, we'll follow we'll follow Vernon. Uh, Vernon, or Vernon, you you realize something through your many times of going through RPGs. You just killed things, but you didn't loot it. Oh, <laughs> your gamer sense triggers. Uh. Uh, we'll do you look run back. back and loot him, or do you want to? Yeah, yeah. On? I got, I gotta get my loot. I turn around. Like, oh yeah, I forgot. And then <laughs> I will ravage, ravage through the corpses. <laughs> as you see him, as he comes from back from the hallway, he immediately just quickly walks forward and starts digging through their clothes and such. Is that by anything? Yeah. Hang on. Let me just go for it. Some goblins. Okay, through the goblins, you find about a total of about two and a half gold pieces. Oh. Just out of, like, copper and such that they're holding. I don't, um, I don't, um, let Vernon know, but I think to myself that it is a pretty good idea because, um, the, my company did tell me that my equipment, uh, is procured on site. Mm -hmm. So I, so I loot, um... So I go to the orc and loot. Okay. So as he's as he's looting the goblins, you loot the orc. Uh, you see that the goblin doesn't seem uh, the orc doesn't seem to have any type of pouches or anything. But you do see that he has a. You see on top of uh, when it is tusk, there is a ring on it. it seems to be a uh, just a tusk uh, tusk ring for him, a piercing. Of piercing. It looks. Yep. It's a yeah tusk piercing, and it looks to be made of gold. And then you see that there is a like a, a small ruby on it. And as uh, you go, oh, yeah. as you go into his belts, you see that where where it looks like it's supposed to be holding like another dagger or something like that, you can see there is a like a like a little uh, a scroll on it instead of a, a dagger being held in, in the pouch. I shall take both. Okay. Uh, do I know what that scroll is? Alright, as you open the scroll, you can see it is is it is uh, written in common, although it looks like a broken <laughs> common. But as you, as you read it out, it looks to be what you call... It I seems to be order. It seems to be orders. Looks to be like... Currently... Looks like his job is currently just to scout out the area for any uh, movements from the... From what it says, it says the enemy. I do not know what what enemy refers to. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, you do not know what enemy refers to in this situation, and this is what you're trying to investigate. You you know that the elf, the wood elves are amassing their forces, but you're not sure to what. Mm -hmm. And no way you call it, that dark elves have been seen in the area. Okay. Um. And the ring, could you describe? Could you just describe the ring to me again? It is a it is a golden ring with a a small ruby embedded into it. Okay, it doesn't seem to have any magical properties, does it? Uh, not that you know of. You um, can roll Arcana check, or if you have to detect magic or anything like that. Uh, I shall I shall roll Arcana. Okay, go ahead. I roll a fifteen minus 15. one. Minus one. All right. As you look at it, it does not appear if to be it's, magical. If uh, it's not too much trouble, I'll arcana check it as well. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, as, you, as you're looking at it, you see Cobalt come up to it and what seems the motion that he wants to look at it. Do you let him? Uh, yes, I do. All right. Cobalt, you want to roll as well? Can I cast Guidance on that? Yes. So you you, 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 you aren't able to cast it on um, Elazar because he already rolled, so, but you can cast it on Cobalt. Okay. So here, you can go and roll with guidance. But mine, I'll be like, 
Do I have status windows on items too? As you look, as you look at it. Yeah, I doubt it though. Probably not high level enough. As you as you look at the thing, it does have a status room on items, but it there's no you don't have like a uh, space. It's simply as you as you grab something, you hold it, and you see it says in your inventory. Like as you grab a rock, it says rock in the inventory. Oh, you let okay. it go, it disappears. It, uh, Just the uh, name of everything. Add up. It's twenty one. Twenty one. All right, you see enough. You do see that it it is not magical at this moment, but it looks like. It, it looks like to be a damaged magical item, but you believe that if you can roll high enough arcana, you may be able to fix it, or you may destroy it. I I, I also split the gold among you guys. I'd be like, hey, here's your share, your share, your share. How much you gold? Split it? <laughs> okay, he splits two and a half gold, which is mostly <laughs> copper and silver. Yeah. Is it uh? Is it translates to a hundred, 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 hundred? Like a hundred. No, it goes by goes by tens. Okay. Except for platinum. All right, still so two and a half divided by four. It's basically uh point five each, <laughs> almost. All right. Oh, well, it's it, basically two hundred fifty copper pieces. Okay, two hundred fifty. All right. Yeah. That is. So you can you can divide that by four. Yeah, that's sixty-seven. Can I take like a? Uh, have let them keep the money, but take like a down payment of anything you find in the future. That's up to you if, if they want to. You can ask them about it. I just, yep, so, I, I uh, just, so I just shoved the gold to him. I mean, the copper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I tried to uh, persuade you guys that you know, well, you guys can keep the money, but if you find anything of uh, magical importance, I would like to uh, have first dibs at it. First dibs. Kobold, do you tell him that it, that the the ring can be repaired to be magical? Uh, oh, oh, Elizar, yeah. Elazar, you wake up. You see that it is not magical. I I explain it to him. Yeah. Okay. That so is he, uh, the ring can be repaired and it will become magical again. But you're not sure what what magical effect it is. Yeah. Um. It's what do you mean? Control. What do you mean by first dibs at it? I mean like uh, if if we're dip, um splitting the loot amongst ourselves uh first pick first pick huh you know like Mad there's a, a a bunch of loot and when it's split oh up, i oh i know i know so. oh <laughs> I, I know <laughs> that that uh um but to me um i make the calculations that uh that 67 copper pieces uh to that um not worth. <laughs> I, I do saying? think I'm um, not worth, but at the same time, um, I feel I feel a small kinship with uh, Cobalt enough to say, uh, to agree to it. Oh, okay. um, within reason, o only within reason. All right, very well. I walk yeah, back. I walk back to the area. Okay. Is that um, is that fine, Cobalt? Yep. Um. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you for telling me about about um, the ring. If it's uh, yeah. All right. And would you guys like to continue traveling? Um, I'm gonna have to actually head to head to sleep soon. Oh, okay. We yeah. we can end in there. Yeah. yeah. Place to end it. Okay. As, you <laughs> enter, as you guys enter the temple. Yeah. Uh, right. Do. It did. Uh, it did a good representation of what we see. At least, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's just a, it's just a tomb. So as you're entering, okay, it, yeah, you're currently going down a hallway. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Honestly, and, we're gonna think... overlay our two drawings over yeah. each other. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I can do that actually. Hold on, give me a second. Print screen. <laughs> <laughs> I have to print screen though, but. <laughs> I'll use Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>